What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Mighty Up Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE Elite figure set review for you guys, and it is on the brand new WrestleMania 38 Vince McMahon Build-A-Figure Wave featuring Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Bret Hart, and the phenomenal AJ Styles. Now, it took a minute for Ringside Collectibles to get these in, but they are finally in stock, man. You can get them over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% with shopping over there. Select the priority shipping option so you get them very quickly, and do not use code free ship. It takes forever to get to your household regardless of the fact but here today man we got the full wave you guys can see here on the side of the packaging let's go ahead and dive into it just a little bit let's go ahead we'll showcase you got aj styles up front right here you can see it's from his boneyard match with undertaker we have kind of a re-release figure right here right with bret hart got the shirt on there pretty interesting selection for this but uh, i like the packaging going on i like the the blues and the whites going on you got a really wrestlemania s type deal going on wrestlemania logo over here big wwe logo it's a merging of you know those pay-per-view style sort of packagings mixed together with the main elite line you know that we're moving towards but here's Stone Cold Steve Austin you got pinless double jointed arms in there great looking head sculpt this is from his last match ever with The Rock and then last but not least I think this is the stud of the set we have Shawn Michaels I, I reviewed this a little bit on the channel already in a My Damn Halls episode but this is going to be the full breakdown where we can look at the packaging we can look at all the different things got the names down there the images all the good things going on with it man I love what we got going on with the Shawn he's definitely my favorite out of the set it is from his last match ever if you get that but it is his wrestlemania 26 match with the undertaker so with all these things being said man let's go ahead and crack the full wave out of the packaging and break down this entire wave and build up our vince mcmahon build a figure so here's the full WrestleMania 38 wave out of the packaging. Stone Cold Steve Austin, HPK, AJ Styles, and Bret the Hitman Hart all out of here. Kind of four like uh, big level names, especially in the in the WrestleMania category. I know AJ Styles doesn't have the best resume at WrestleMania, but when you think about you know four key guys, four iconic men in WWE history, and just four uh, phenomenal talents, and just the embodiment of WrestleMania, I think this is a really good wave as far as that is concerned. Now, as far as the figures themselves, we are going to get into the wave and break down all the different things about it. I'll give you guys my honest opinion on the wave what i think of all the gears and all the different things but since this isn't really a typical review we are going to just go ahead and go one by one with each figure show off their accessories show off their build a figure piece show off the figure itself and kind of run through there it's not going to be like our typical reviews where we you know we spend a, a pretty decent amount of time on the wave also i'm not going to do a my damn thoughts on this wave because i'm probably going to put all of my thoughts and rank the set in this one just because it's four and one and it's not you know six and a whole wave and all those different things man so we're going to get into all the different things man but just hold tight let's get into the review of WrestleMania 38 Build-A-Figure Vince McMahon wave and let's go ahead and hit it. So taking a look at the full wave guys as you guys can see the full lineup as we go left to right and we do get the Vince McMahon Build-A-Figure which we will look at at the very end but let's start off with the figure on my right which is going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin and this figure is pretty damn nice man I like it a lot it's very reminiscent of his Ultimate Edition which we will take a closer look at but this is the head sculpt that you actually get on the Ultimate Edition and it's probably my favorite one I really like the laughing one but I think this one looks really damn good as well really love this expression I think it's one of his better head sculpts honestly and i like that they put it in this wave it really stands out on the austin figure especially if you missed out on the ultimate edition this one really brings it together going down into the vest we've seen this vest before actually we've seen this vest before on the hall of fame figure and it does say omr and that's for one more round because it was his last match ever versus the rock and on the back it does have the skull but it does not have the words on it and i'm pretty sure it said bulletproof i'll probably have to either paint that in or get a decal or something because i definitely want the bulletproof vest on there i have a, a ton of this vest because I had so many of that Hall of Fame Austin. I have a ton of Austin Elites, so getting those vests and getting those in order and, and customizing those is definitely a priority I want to do. But this figure looks phenomenal. I like the double jointed arms that we're getting. They are pinless, which was not the case on the Ultimate Edition. So that is a new addition right there. You guys know that we have been getting double jointed arms nowadays with our Elites totally changing the game. And you probably are wondering if this head sculpt is like interchangeable like regular Elites. And I have found that this whole wave does not have that ability. Like you can't just, you know, pop them off there which i don't know what the case is there but it's if it if it does come off it's not easy to do you have his black wrist tape black trunks black knee braces black knee pads and black boots you guys know it's just it, it didn't matter about the gear that stone cold wore it was all about the attitude and beating everybody's ass if you want to compare it to his ultimate edition here is the ultimate edition on the left and here is the figure on the right from the wrestlemania 19 and you know they, they look pretty much similar right they're basically the exact same figure you get a little bit different articulation he doesn't have butterfly joints or nothing but i mean they're virtually the same 
only one knee brace featured over here. No necklace over here on this figure, but I love Stone Cold, one of my favorites of all time, and this is cool to add another one of those to the collection. But as far as his accessories, you do get the vest accessory that we covered, and he also comes with mic holding hands, which are, you know, that they're, they're, you have the mic holding slash beer can holding hands, you get fists on the figure, and then instead of middle fingers, you get you get finger index pointer hands, which are pretty lame. Not gonna lie to you, but I, you know, I understand the business side of it. It's just, it's just very lame. And then for the Build-A-Figure piece that he comes with, Stone Cold Steve Austin does come with the Vince McMahon head sculpt, which is the Elite 70 head sculpt that we saw a while back with that suited body that we got in that wave. Now, if we move things on to the next figure in the set, which is probably my favorite figure in the set, I'd say, is going to be Shawn Michaels. This is a beautiful piece, man. This vest that this figure is wearing is just incredible. I covered this again in a My Damn Halls episode, but it's like that nice faux cloth material. You know, it's kind of like fake leather or pleather, and it does have the little wing designs on the back. You get the side framing right there. It's got a beautiful cream color going on, which is really nice to see. White wrist tape. He is missing some tattoo details right here on the bicep. White wrist tape, great cream, brown, and black pants. Just some sick looking pants, man. The articulation feels really good too. He can kick and do all the different things. Tight waist swivel. This head sculpt though is like a decade old, man. We have seen this head sculpt. This is basically a re-release of the WrestleMania 25 Defining Moments Shawn Michaels here in this wave, and it's the same head sculpt from nearly a decade ago. It may even be over a decade now that we've seen this head sculpt, which is just insane, man. We need new Shawn Michaels head sculpts, and hopefully we'll get some very soon. Maybe an Elite 100. I don't know. But this figure looks very, very iconic. I love the gear. I think it looks incredible. And Shawn Michaels having long pants, you know, we've been waiting on figures from around this era slightly before it. And to see this figure made, it's 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 a very iconic Shawn Michaels moment and match, and maybe his most iconic ever. But, you know, it, it, in figure form, it looks terrific. I don't really have a comparison. It's very hard to get to my Shawn Michaels on my shelf, because it's like behind the arena it's very hard to get through it's very hard to get to without crashing through my entire arena so i do apologize for that but damn man i love this figure holy crap moving on to his accessories he comes with the microphone and the arms to the vince mcmahon so you get the classic wwf microphone which isn't even accurate because it has the wwe logo for understandable reasons but he does come with these suited arms for the vince which we will build at the end so just uh keep that in mind we will cover the vince mcmahon but he also comes with dx chop it hands and you're probably wondering why he has some on there and he comes with these it's because these actually go on the vince mcmahon so you have two pairs of those for each figure and then he also comes with mic holding hands and then he also comes with mic holding hands, which are always terrific, which I'll probably put on as soon as this video is over. Moving on to the next figure in the set, man, is going to be AJ Styles. And this is probably, you know, we haven't seen an Elite AJ Styles in a really long time, right? Like, it's been a while. It's been, a, I think, since Elite Series 77. We're moving up to Elite 91 now. So it's been about 14 waves. They used to pump out an AJ Styles every other wave, right? Like, they were pumping them out and pumping them out. They took a backslide on that. This is our first AJ Styles ever with double jointed arms. He's got his P1 elbow pad on there, red gloves. I'm sick of seeing the 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 OC and the red and the like red and black AJ Styles they always give him black tights I really want to see a red tights AJ Styles not a black with red accents and we've seen this head sculpt before this is the Elite 74 and the Elite 77 head sculpt so getting reuse in there you know the, these waves always love to use the reuse and get as many molds in there as possible that's kind of what these secondary waves are you don't you rarely get a brand new figure with brand new sculpt it's usually a figure that has been seen before that they retool or re-release or tweak just slightly but he does come with his OC shirt underneath he does have the Dean Ambrose torso or the Shawn Michaels torso or whatever you want to say he does have this nice OC black armband right here which I really like and his jeans are a very unique color now on screen they kind of look more of a blue color but in real life they're like a I don't even know what you'd want to call it it's like a marinish blue it's a very very weird color it doesn't look like natural jeans and it looks completely different on camera than it does in real life so I, I really don't even know what to do about that but they are like a cerulean, cerulean or something like that color blue. And it's very, very weird. So, I don't know. You guys may notice that. But it's a very boring boneyard match, AJ Styles in my opinion. But we did need it, I guess, to match with our Elite 85 Undertaker. So, I do understand that. But it's kind of a weaker release, you know. It's not my favorite release for AJ Styles. But it is a street gear AJ Styles if you've been wanting that. He comes with the torso to Vince McMahon. And he also comes with the shovel from the boneyard match with Undertaker as we covered. 
He also comes with his, his posable hands, which he'll now finally be able to do because he has double jointed arms. And then he also comes with three count or WrestleMania three hands, I think. Like, you know, the Vince McMahon can hold up the threes there. You could probably plug this into your referee's hands, you know, and get a three count there. If you want to do that after a match, you know, throw up the three and, you know, finally call the match. So that's pretty cool there. But AJ Styles comes with the interchangeable hands and the torso of the Vince McMahon. And last but not least, we have the Bret Hart figure, which is just a straight up re-release. This is a straight up re-release. And if you guys do not believe me, here is the best of pay-per-view Bret Hart over here. And I mean, this is virtually the exact same figure. You do get some different things going on. The shorts are a little bit different. You know, he does have pink wrist tape. His shirt design is just a tad different, but it's the same head sculpt with a little bit of true effects applied. I low-key feel like this one's more accurate. He kind of looks like, like Dopey or something from Snow White over here on this right head sculpt. I think my eyes may have been misprinted or something. Yeah, he is looking a bit off right there, man. He's not looking too good, but I really like these elbow pads. I like that, you know, they have the, the white outline. You could probably put that on a Hollywood Hulk Hogan or something. I really wish that they had the open elbow pads. I want to say he wore open elbow pads. That may not have been, but he does have double jointed arms, which is really cool. So he does have the double jointed arms so you can get the good articulation in there. I really like the pink wrist tape, and if you guys wanted to see what the shirt looks like off the figure, we can look a, we can take a closer look at that real quick. So it does have Velcro on it. So you do get two cloth shirts in this wave, but it is that same, you know, uh, I don't even know what torso. Ric Flair torso or I don't, I don't know what you, the Mizdow torso. Those are the two figures that come to mind when I think of this torso, but probably not the most accurate to the time of Bret Hart, but you know, it is what it is. It's not my favorite, but you do get the nice elbow pads on there and that is something that I really like, but I don't know, kind of a weak release. I don't know if this figure needed to be re-released like this, but it is cool to see double jointed arms and, you know, you get the different tooling and, and you know, you get the cloth t-shirt and stuff, but there is Bret Hart. An another like eight to ten year, like look at that kick forward, man. This this technology that they're using on these like long short Cena's and, and these guys that wear these long shorts, it's just outdated as shit, man. We gotta update that. We gotta update that. But he also comes with the legs of the Vince McMahon and he also has mic holding hands and fisted hands. But now that we have covered the full wave, man, I do want to get into the build a figure. So let's go ahead and build this thing. So if you're gonna build the Vince McMahon, man, you're gonna take your torso and your pants and kind of push those together right here. I'm having a really difficult time snapping this together. There it goes. All right, finally got that in there. So you snap that in there. You will take your left arm. God, that's difficult to push in there. But I think once it's in there, it's in there. So you do have to push it with some force. You may even have to heat it up a little bit to get them to go in there better and easier. But there is that. It looks like they, they may have used a different suit mold than they usually use. You guys know that we do have the Jimmy Hart build a figure set coming soon with the Royal Rumble wave. But then you plop the head in there. Very nice. I'm very glad. Yeah, dude, they definitely got away from that suited body that they used to use, man. And you plug in here. It doesn't have double jointed arms. Maybe we'll get a suited body with double jointed arms, but that, that looks really good. I like the red bow tie. I like the black suit going on. Head sculpt looks cool for a, a young Vince McMahon. But one, one thing that, I, that I'm glad they did is they actually made him shorter. They didn't make him like six Six, nine like they usually do so like typically Vince McMahon figures are so damn tall they're massive they are absolutely massive so to see him scaled down here it looks a lot more natural and I know Vince McMahon's tall don't get me wrong but this looks a lot more natural and since it didn't make him so damn big you can actually use this for other guys you guys know that my figures wears a suit you know my figure wears a bow tie and stuff so now I can interchange those and get that going but I love the builder figure man overall I really enjoy the Vince McMahon I'm not gonna include the builder figure in the ranking because I think that's you know is that even fair to do because usually they're all suited bodies, right? That's kind of how the Builder figures work with Mattel and WWE. But I like the Vincent Man, man. It looks really good. I like the way it poses and everything like that. Really clean. I love the way they do these legs, man. Especially the suited legs. You know, you can sit down at announce tables and stuff. They, they make the articulation great on these. But... If we are ranking the set realistically, I would go Shawn Michaels number one, Stone Cold Steve Austin number two, AJ Styles number three, and the Bret Hart number four. I just think that overall, the Shawn Michaels is by far and away the best figure in the set. Like, it's not even close. Not even freaking close. The Stone Cold Steve Austin, I love Stone Cold. I think it's a great moment. And uh, if you guys missed out on the Ultimate Edition, it's a great little second level Stone Cold Steve Austin, the second closest thing there. AJ Styles is cool to finally get a promo gear. You get the cloth shirt. I like the black armband and the double jointed art. AJ Styles is really exciting. And then this head sculpt on the Bret Hart's not very good. It's not really a figure that we needed. It's not wrestling gear. It's not like an iconic Bret Hart moment that you're gonna want in your collection, you know, for your Bret Hart's. You're gonna want it, but it's not the same level as a actual wrestling singles career during his his prime Bret Hart. So that is the reasons why I ranked it this way. I would love to know what you guys think of this set down in the comment section below. If you guys would like this set, definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But that is gonna wrap up our review on the full WrestleMania 38. Build a figure Vince McMahon 
and wave. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys, and do not cross the line like me when I, I, I don't, uh, again, I, I just be crossing the line. You cross the line, I've been